Australia's Land 8116 program represents a pivotal step in modernizing the Australian Army's artillery capabilities through the local production of the AS-9 Huntsman self-propelled howitzer and AS-10 armored ammunition resupply vehicle. Initiated with a $1 billion Australian dollars contract signed in December 2021 with Hanwha Defence Australia, the program is delivering 30 AS-9s and 15 AS-10s, customized variants of South Korea's K-9 Thunder and K-10 platforms. These vehicles are designed to enhance firepower, mobility, and survivability, addressing the evolving demands of modern warfare in the Indo-Pacific region. Beyond its military objectives, the program is a catalyst for industrial growth, creating jobs and fostering a robust defense manufacturing ecosystem in Australia. As of June 2025, the program is progressing on schedule, with significant milestones in production, testing, and integration, signaling a transformative leap for Australia's defense capabilities. The cornerstone of local production is the Hanwha Armoured Vehicle Centre of Excellence in Geelong, Victoria, a 150,000 square meter facility equipped with a 1.5 kilometers test track. Construction, which began in April 2022, is ahead of schedule, with completion expected in 2024. Production of the AS9 and AS10 is set to commence in Q4 2024, and the first locally built AS9 is anticipated by late 2025. While two AS9s and one AS10 are being manufactured in South Korea, with the first delivered on January 15, 2025, the remaining 28 AS9s and 14 AS10s will be produced in Geelong, with full delivery targeted for 2027. The HACE facility is generating over 300 jobs and integrates Australian companies such as Kongsberg Defence Australia, Plasan, Bussaloy Steels, and Thales Australia. This collaboration not only strengthens Australia's defence industry, but also positions the country as a secondary supply hub for the global K9 user community, including nations like South Korea, Norway, and Poland. The facility's export potential underscores its strategic importance, enabling Australia to contribute to allied supply chains and enhance regional security cooperation. Testing and validation have been rigorous to ensure the AS9 Huntsman meets Australia's stringent operational requirements. Trials conducted in South Korea at Changwon Proving Ground from 2023 to 2024 confirmed the AS9's advanced features, including its automated loading system, three-round burst capability, enhanced armor, and resistance to anti-tank mines. These tests also verified compatibility with Australian 155mm munitions, such as Rheinmetall's Asagai rounds, which extend the AS9's range to 60 kilometers with specialized projectiles, compared to 18 to 22 kilometers for the M777 towed howitzer. In Australia, live fire testing at Port Wakefield, South Australia, from August to December 2023, involved firing hundreds of rounds under the oversight of the Joint Proof and Experimental Unit. These tests validated ammunition and propellant safety, ensuring crew protection and combat reliability. Additionally, blast testing in Israel during 2023 used a full-size AS-9 hull with crash test dummies to assess mine resistance, providing critical data for design refinements. Ongoing trials in 2024 at Yuma Proving Ground, Arizona, are focused on range and accuracy, integrating the AS-9 with the Advanced Field Artillery Tactical Data System to enable precise, networked fire support. The AS-9 Huntsman, equipped with a 155mm 52 caliber gun, delivers a firing rate of 6 to 8 rounds per minute and employs shoot-and-scoot tactics to evade counter-battery fire, significantly enhancing survivability. The AS-10's automated resupply system minimizes crew exposure by streamlining ammunition delivery, a critical feature for sustained operations. The 4th Regiment, Royal Australian Artillery, will transition from M777 howitzers to the AS-9, with initial operating capability expected post-2025. The M777 will remain in service for air mobile roles, ensuring flexibility across diverse operational scenarios. 
However, a 2024 report highlighted logistical challenges, noting that the Australian Army's current supply chain is not fully optimized for the AS-9's mobility and high ammunition consumption in large-scale combat operations. To address this, recommendations include enhanced training for logistics personnel, the establishment of modular support units, and the development of decentralized logistics nodes to ensure reliable ammunition and fuel supply over extended distances. These adaptations are critical to maximizing the AS-9's effectiveness in dynamic, high-intensity conflicts. The LAND 8116 program is structured in phases to ensure long-term capability development. Phase 2, planned for the late 2020s, will double the AS-9 and AS-10 fleet by equipping a second regiment with all additional vehicles to be manufactured in Geelong. This expansion will significantly enhance the Australian Army's artillery capacity, enabling it to project power across greater distances and respond to regional threats. Phase 3, scheduled for the 2030s, will focus on midlife upgrades to integrate emerging technologies such as advanced fire control systems, improved sensors, and potentially autonomous capabilities. These upgrades will ensure the AS-9 remains relevant in an evolving threat environment, maintaining Australia's edge in artillery warfare. The program's broader implications extend beyond military capability. By prioritizing local production, Land 81116 is fostering a self-reliant defense industry, reducing dependence on foreign supply chains, and creating economic opportunities in regional Australia. The Geelong facility's role as a global supply hub enhances Australia's strategic partnerships, particularly with South Korea, and aligns with the government's Defence Strategic Review, which emphasises regional deterrence and industrial sovereignty. Additionally, the program supports Australia's commitment to gender diversity in defence manufacturing, with HDA actively recruiting women into technical and leadership roles at HACE. Community engagement initiatives, such as STEM programs and apprenticeships, are also being rolled out to build a skilled workforce for the future. Despite its progress, the program faces challenges that require ongoing attention. The reliance on global supply chains for specialized components, such as electronics and munitions, could pose risks in a disrupted geopolitical environment. Furthermore, Integrating the AS-9 into the Australian Army's broader networked warfare systems, including drones and missile defense platforms, will require continued investment in interoperability. The Australian Defense Force is addressing these issues through collaborative exercises with allies, such as the United States and South Korea, to refine joint operations and data sharing protocols. As the LAND 81116 program moves toward full-scale production and operational integration, it stands as a testament to Australia's commitment to modernizing its defense forces while driving economic and industrial growth. The AS-9 Huntsman and AS-10 AARV will provide the Australian Army with a leap in artillery capability, ensuring it is well-equipped to meet the challenges of a complex security landscape. For the latest developments, stakeholders are encouraged to consult the Australian Department of Defence or Hanwha Defence Australia's official communications.